There is no denying that the WNBA has become more popular since the arrival of Indiana Fever guard Caitlin Clark and Chicago Sky forward Angel Reese. The league has experienced significant growth, marked by sellout crowds, soaring merchandise sales, and impressive television viewership. Despite this surge in interest, the WNBA is still not a profitable business for its investors. According to a report by Josh Cosman and Brian Lewis of the New York Post, the league is projected to lose $40 million in the 2024 season. This loss is an improvement from the initially estimated $50 million shortfall. The NBA owns 60% of the WNBA, a figure that increases to 75% when factoring in the stakes of other NBA team owners. A league executive noted to the Post that the WNBA owes the NBA so much we won't see any windfall for years. The league saw exponential growth in 2024, driven by rising interest thanks to Clark, Reese, and the new rookie class. Viewership across ESPN networks improved by 170%, and the number of sellout games surged to 154, a significant jump from 45 in the previous season. Additionally, merchandise sales from the WNBA's flagship store and website increased by an astonishing 601% compared to 2023. Looking ahead, there are reasons for optimism. The WNBA has secured an 11-year, $2.2 billion media rights deal that will commence in 2026. This agreement is expected to provide at least a $100 million annual increase from the current national media contract earnings of around $60 million. However, it remains to be seen how the WNBA's collective bargaining agreement CBA, and potential salary increases will impact the league's profitability for its investors. Players are reportedly expected to opt out of the current CBA by the November 1 deadline, which could further influence the league's financial landscape in the coming years.